Hey, you got a second? Fancy running into you again. Don't mind me. It's just admiring your ship from up close. Gotta hand it to you, boss. That's a fine-looking ship. Only thing it's missing is me. What? No. No, no, no. Okay. Yeah, maybe a little. I'm not trying to be all creepy like. I just want to make a good case for myself. Just give me a shot. That's all I'm asking. I could be the best damn crew you ever hired. Oh, okay. Well, uh, can you give me a couple of pointers? Hey, that's good advice. I like the way you think, boss. Besides, not like there's a line of folks standing around hoping to get on your ship. I'm persistent, I'm eager, Man, I'm showing initiative. What else do you want in your crew? Sure, an interview. That sounds fair. I mean, first time for everything, right? Ask me anything you like. Uh, it's delicious. Mock apple pie and a triple kale crust? Maybe with a little cream on top? Classic. Wow. <laughs> you don't know how long I've been waiting to hear that. Thanks, boss. You're not gonna regret this. I'll just gather my personals and meet you on board. This is gonna be great. Well, this'll be interesting, huh? Hey, Captain. Can I get your temperature on something real quick? So, Jun Lei and I have been talking some. Through messages? I got him here on my data pad, and well... She sent me a poem. One she wrote her own self, I'm pretty sure. I don't know if I should read into it. Because poems are all symbolic and such, right? It's not so good. But real sweet. Oh, law. That's what's got me spooked. I don't rightly know. It's about this engine that's been shaking itself apart. Then this lady mechanic comes by and lays one hand on it. And the trouble goes away. It sings. I don't want to get too hopeful, but I'm wondering if maybe she's the engine and I'm the lady? It's a real romantic poem. It made my chest hurt, kind of. I don't know where it's leading yet, or if I'm misinterpreting. I'm not much interested in physical stuff. Never have been. Leastways, not like other folks seem to be. It's not that I can't, I just don't care for it. It's been a problem in the past. The folk who wanted to be with me back in the Vale, they didn't... They said I was cold. Thanks, Captain. That makes me feel a touch better. I actually had another message from Junlei, I just... couldn't work up the courage to open it. But I'm gonna change that. Right now. Okay, here we go. Let's see here. Talking about old friends, got to thinking... Isabel? Who's... who's Isabel? 
They were... close, Captain. Like, more than friends close. I don't know. Junlei talked about them like it was past, but how far in the past? Ten years? Last week? Captain, I'm feeling all mixed up right now. Could we maybe head to the Groundbreaker? Get some drinks at that bar there? Lost Hope? This is no time to be fooling on me. I'm full serious. Next time we're on the Groundbreaker, I aim to get a drink. If I got to, I'll do it on my lonesome. But I'd feel better if someone I trusted was there.
You see we had a conveyor pull in? So, how does this work? Do we get a table, stand in a corner? Okay, so what are we drinking? You're the expert. Oh, and don't worry on the price. I got this. Let's just do it proper. Well, that's fruit and such, right? Okay, wine it is. Bottoms up. Good choice for getting sloshed when you want to act fancy about it. Wow, this is really kind of nice, actually. Who'd have guessed old fruit could taste so good? Oh, Captain, I'm pining for June like something fierce. What am I doing? You're funny. Yeah, I guess we're doing that, aren't we? Crewing together, seeing the stars. It's like something out of a serial. I like the ones with grand romances. And I think, I think I'm flubbing mine. I don't know what to do about us. Well, she talked about another girl, right? Isabel. Mentioned her by name and everything, like she wanted me to know. Maybe I've been making a right fool of myself this whole time. Maybe she's not interested after all. Exactly. Takes a lot of trust to hand over that kind of blackmail material. Uh, I don't know, I'd call it, uh, sensual. That's a lot. It did? Oh dear, I hadn't really... Oh my goodness. And I told you? Let's read it right now, just to be sure. It was real long and rambly. She was telling me a story about her dad, how a lady named Isabel did all sorts of things to try to win his favor. This Isabel lady never quite managed to get her dad's approval, but they carried on anyways. Made something good out of a bad situation. Then it all went down the tubes. Do you think June Lay still has feelings for her? Well, maybe... Maybe she just wanted to let me know her preferences. In a less awkward way. But that made it more awkward. I, I need another drink. Right now. Before I lose my nerve. <laughs> Come on, Captain! I'm here to drink! Okay, maybe you're right, I am a little woozy. Hydration, here I come. Aw, this was just about to get fun. Shush you. Oh, Captain, I want to talk to Junlei all the time. Even about silly things, but I'm so scared. Um, everything? I got a solar system's worth of terrifying questions swirling around my head. Does she think I'm as pretty as I think she's handsome? What if she doesn't like me? What if she does? What if she's still got feelings for that lady, Isabel? What if we... we get together and... she gets bored of me? Oh, there's nothing easy about... about spilling your guts to the person who's got your heart in their hands. 
You know I'm not interested in physical affection. That's... Well, it's tripped folks up in the past. Folks I thought cared about me for me. What if she's not okay with that? What if she is, but then later, she's not? Just move on? Like, snapping your fingers? I don't know. Maybe I got a weak heart. It all just seems... impossible. Yeah. Yeah, I know you're right. Just wish it were that easy, is all. I'm not used to speaking free with folks. Back in Edgewater, there wasn't no one who wanted to know my mind. Excepting my dad. Gosh, I don't know that I got that in me. Sometimes I feel real mean inside, Captain. I think... ungenerous thoughts. Well, I suppose so, but... I, I want to be my best self for her. A good person, worth caring for. Well, Captain, this has been... This has been a whole lot. I got just... Wow. So much to think about. Oh gosh, I... I don't know, Captain. Do you think I should? All right, all right. There's no need to strip your screws over it. Okay. I, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna ask June out. Just as soon as we get back to the ship. I mean, probably. Eventually. Thanks for hearing me out, and giving me counsel. And, well, for being a friend. It means a whole lot. You're good people, Captain. This was fun. We should do it again after you send that message. Huh. <laughs> All right. Thank you, guys. You're real good friends, you know that? I wish... I wish there was a place we could all live quiet together. Come on, let's go. Either of the assault cruisers ever put into ground? Hey, Captain. I hope I wasn't too much bother at the bar. I did have fun, and I tried some things I never would have otherwise. Some of the drinks we tried I even liked. I guess it's not all disgusting. And I don't feel it today. I guess that water must have worked. I'm glad I had you looking out for me. I messaged June Lei when we got back, and she replied super quick. <clears throat> okay. I was awake half the night, thinking about what I sent, anxious to see what you said. I reread my message in the morning, and it was unclear. I was drinking when I sent it, otherwise I wouldn't have had the courage. Also, sorry for the typos. I've ruined things in the past because I didn't say things I should have, like I've met someone who's become special to me. I want to be honest with her, so if she feels the same about me, there won't be any surprises. Oh, 
Isn't she sweet? <laughs> like one of those two-bit romances where one soul's all stiff and formal, and I should be glad to perhaps take hold of your hand, miss. I ought to go write her back. I mean, I already did. Twice. <laughs> but anyhow, thanks for taking me out, Captain. Welcome back, Captain. How can I be of assistance? Yes, Captain. Beginning playback now. There's... there's viscera and death everywhere. Gunfire, gnashing teeth, the unemployed! For law's sake, if anyone's receiving this, please send help. What? Uh, no! No, no, no! Captain, we are now capable of accessing the Roseway landing pad. Also, corporate protocol requires that all distress signals include a list of key personnel for retrieval. The embedded names are Anton Crane, Vaughn Cortez, and Orson Shaw. Take care. I require a functioning captain to run the ship. Orbit above Roseway, Captain. Captain, got a minute? This Roseway business smells. Something tells me things didn't end well for the guy who made the distress call, and whoever or whatever got him will be waiting for us. Just a little caution. Could be a reason no one's picked up this job yet. They don't give medical degrees to dummies, Captain. Anyway, we might as well take a look out there, see if we can get the jump on whoever's waiting for us. I think I'll initiate an unscheduled rest cycle while you're out. No security. Not that I'm complaining.
hell of a welcome. I done had enough of this shit. I'm just the fucking tarmac guard. No one said nothing about fighting no raps. Alarms went off, raps broke loose, and I hightailed it in here to get a wall between me and them beasts. Um, forget I said anything about that. Distress call from here? Shit. They told me that weren't allowed. Got me. I just do what I'm told, and I was told not to do such. Scientist, name of Anton Crane. Someone said he's panicking inside the comm center. Oh, before I forget. Anticleos makes the best pharmaceuticals in Halcyon. Better than nature. Not like that crap Spacer's Choice pedals. If you've come to end my life, let's be on with it. Oh, not actually one of them, are you? Y yes, yes. Anton Crane, lead scientist here. I must apologize if my call diverted you. I uh, may have panicked. Everything's under control now, though, truth be told.
I'm not at liberty to discuss the nature of the work I'm doing here. Suffice it to say that its importance to me, uh, to the colony, is immeasurable. My research may not quite fall within legal parameters, so I'm under orders to maintain wireless silence. However, having your head used as target practice can addle one's thinking. I cut the call immediately once I'd gathered my wits. The Home Office can't know what's happening here. Captain's got your best interests at heart, mister. Honest. I suppose it can't hurt. If I don't get that research back, my life is over, regardless. We were tasked with formulating a new and improved dental gel. One cannot exaggerate the benefits of good dental hygiene. May I continue? While doing research on enzymes specific to the Raptodon's digestive system, we developed an additive which we subsequently discovered to be the most effective appetite suppressant ever. Not just any diet toothpaste, the ultimate diet toothpaste. Hours ago, a group of vicious malcontents fell upon us, shot up our labs and loosed our research subjects, the Raptodons. If those Cretans get their hands on my research, well, they'll need not kill me. Yes, but don't kill the mother if it's avoidable. We've need of her to replenish our stocks. I think there's gas in the lab somewhere that can be used to put them out. The research is in the safe in my office. You'll have need of my code and keycard. The lab's entrance is in the side of a hill. You can't miss it if you just follow the road. You'll pass by the town's original... by the Grand Architect. Jameson, he's in the old lab. My protege. I sent him to retrieve some metabolic precursors, and I forgot him. That would surely lighten the weight on my conscience, as I am held to account for the well-being of every scientist here. Too many have been lost. Too many black marks against my name, as it were. And far too much paperwork. I'll thank you not to mistake my ambition for callousness. If my colleagues refuse to take their lives seriously, why should I? All they do is complain. They refuse to see the opportunity afforded us here. Believe what you will, but I'm not the manipulative, ego-driven person you think me to be. I'm not. You picked a hell of a day to visit. I'm Vaughn. Vaughn Cortez. Uh, Dr. Vaughn Cortez. But just Vaughn's fine, really. Over in the main labs. I rabbited back here when I realized I was hearing gunshots, not blown fuses. We've been cooped up in here, I don't know, hours? Too long. I have to get back to, to work. Uh, Dr. Crane might say otherwise. Me? When those guys started shooting the place up, I was first out the door. I had to leave an experiment running at the lab. Something I've been working on a long while. 
Something that could really get me ahead. Know what I mean? I've been extracting organic compounds from raptodons. Compounds that have, uh, benefits. Extracting how? No, wait, maybe I don't want to know. In certain social situations. Personal situations. Where you might want to, um, enhance your charisma. Oh, for... He's making an raptured, Captain. An aphrodisiac. Wrapped musk is the main ingredient. What? No? I mean, yes, I'm getting the musk. With Monarch Embargo, the price is sky high. But I'm not making the drug. Sure. Of course. Our lab's south of here, down the road. Not the old public lab, the one past that, built into the mountainside. My equipment's in the lower levels, way in the back. I have a big room all to myself. Dissection tables and whatnot. It should have been running this whole time. Just grab the results and bring them here. No, I mean... Nah. <laughs> In fact, don't mention this to Dr. Crane. At all. Great! <sighs> this is really gonna save my ass. Estimating the importance of the eighth back. Blankenship, she's okay. But Lunsford has the highest rate of foot goals per game. But if...
I got 500 bits on the Darlings team, the finals this year. The stats are better on the Spacers. Ooh. If I had a look at those yellow walls all day, I'd make a point to sleep on the roof. shaft runs from the bottom of the lab to the top of the hill over the garage top of the hills rafted on territory sit down i don't need to do it myself i can stay here if you want so you'd send someone else on your damn fool mission Ah, outlaws, I assume. Do me a favor and let me finish this, will you? And then make it quick, please. Oh, you aren't with the outlaws? Who are you then? Oh, well, good luck. No, they got the carpet in here. It's just a matter of... Ah, Orson, you idiot. Just put it... Ah, of course, because I didn't... No, it's a bit safe. I have get this. This, this. It's got to put it in. It's the, the, the power of 12. And of course, that's the idea. It's, it's, we're going to get this solved. I mean... Oh! You're still here. If you haven't already, you might speak to Anton. He can point you in the right direction. Now, if we got the carpet in here, it's just a matter. What does it look like? I'm preparing a personal defense device. Or trying to, anyway. Another outlaw? I'm quite sure I've already spoken to your lot. Oh, quite right. My apologies. I did speak to you earlier, didn't I? What would you like? I am Orson Shaw, Chief Behavioral Scientist. I was brought in to study the Raptodons. I was to ensure that, should a problem arise, our team is adequately equipped to deal with them. They are insatiably hungry, absolutely impossible to control in any fashion, and indeed appear to be powered entirely by hate. No amount of studying will enable us to control them, or even slightly sate their aggression. Indeed. Now that you fully grasp the gravity of the situation, I wonder if you might do me a favor. I left schematics in our storage facility. As far as I know, the security commander hasn't found them yet. I admit I'd feel better were they returned to me. Say, uh, you wouldn't happen to have a tube of thermal paste on you, would you? Blast! Well, good luck. I hope I see you back here in one piece.
Oh, hello. Uh, why do you seem familiar? Have we met? I'm just quite selective about what information I choose to retain. That said, yes, I recognize you. Have you retrieved my schematics yet? I think I'm ready for another bar crawl, Captain. I don't think you're supposed to be wandering around. Security's gonna tell you to make tracks. Wanna treat yourself before you go? Something for the road, maybe? I don't really know you. Roseway's supposed to be closed off to visitors. Stands to reason you could be a corporate spy of some sort. Then again, there's nothing in my contract that says I can't sell the corporate spies. Your bits are the same as anybody else's. Sure. Not like I get many customers. Vent stuff or how the rest.